Hey friends, welcome back to Cooking with Didi. As always, you can find the ingredients with directions listed in the description. All right, we're starting with about two and maybe a half, a little more than a half pounds of um, catfish fillets. You wanna put it in a bowl, season it well. I don't measure, so um, use the recipe. At this point, you want to use about three-fourths of the measurements, and then later on you can do a taste test and see if you want to add more. I've added Worcestershire sauce and some olive oil so that my seasoning will stick to my catfish fillets, and these are pretty big. I had one I cut in half, and I'm stewing that to make my own fresh fish stock. You can make your own, or you can buy fish broth if you can find that in the store, or fish powder sauce. If you notice, I'm using a variety of seasoning. I use Tony Saturia's, Paul Poudon's. I'm not sure I'm saying his name right. I hope I am. If not, I apologize. Um, all right, it's looking pretty good. Let me add a little seasoning here on the back. And I'm kind of light on seasoning um, for health reasons. So if you want more, go for it. Amp it up. If it's too much, bump it down. All right, here are the onions, the red and green bell peppers, and the scallions, or as I call them, green onions. In the melted butter, I want to saute it for about four minutes. I'm adding in my arrowroot, and I'm using that as a way to cut down on carbs. If you don't have an issue with the carbs, go on and use flour, and you're one of the blessed souls but I'm trying to cut down on it, okay? All right, I'm adding uh, roughly two and a half to three bay leaves. The um, tomatoes have already been added, the rotel tomatoes and the roasted tomatoes, the garlic. Um, I'm adding a pinch of white pepper here. I did add some cumin and, um, let's see, a pinch of sugar and baking soda. That's gonna cut down the acid in the tomatoes. I have GERD, so I really have to make sure I do that. If you don't have an issue with that, don't worry about it. it you can omit it. All right, I've added in my um, fish broth that I made, a whole can of coconut milk. You wanna stir it in, smelling pretty good. I'm using, uh, right now this is Old Bay hot sauce, and I did use another brand. So you can check the recipe for that. You wanna lay your catfish fillets in whole. Um, and the reason I call this twisted catfish stew is because it's a combination of the Cajun catfish, uh, I can't say that word, catfish, I don't know. It's a catfish stew that they make in Louisiana and the Brazilian mameca. I think I'm saying that right, I hope. If not, I apologize. You want to squeeze in your lemon. Some people use lime. I didn't have any, so I'm using a lemon. Be gentle with your catfish. It's extremely fragile. And this hot sauce right here, Aztec Revenge. Man, if you have a Dollar Tree near you, run grab all of them, okay? Trust me. Oh, my God, it's fire. I love it. And they also have a jalapeno hot sauce, which I also included in the recipe because I added it at the end. All right, I'm doing a taste test, and hmm. I like it, I like it, I like it. This is going to be good. All right, I'm going to put a lid on it and let it simmer for about 15 minutes. Um, if you see my catfish is broken up. In Brazil, they don't use catfish. They recommend cod and halibut, a, a more firmer fish. But in Louisiana, they use catfish for their stew. So that's why I called it twisted catfish stew. I hope you like this recipe. Hit me up in the comments and let me know what you thought. As always, peace and stay safe.